Ano ang mangyayari kung hindi ka makabayad ng Maya Credit Juice mo on time? Aba, seryoso siya. Kung hindi mo na kailangan mag-overdue para ma-imagine mo kung ano yung mangyayari at dapat sinisuryoso yung reminder niya kaysa. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. Kung meron kang Maya Credit, I'd keep watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and before we continue yung video na to po ay hindi po sponsored. And ako mismo meron ako Maya Credit. If you want to see my other videos kung paano siya i-activate, you can check the links in the description box below. But in a nutshell, itong si Maya Credit, it's a loan product na ino-offer through your, the Maya app. You know, Maya Bank, Digital Bank, regulated by Banko Central ng Pilipinas, registered sa SEM, legit siya. And meron po nga tayong kasabihan na Silent Waters Run Deep. At sa bigiging legit na app guys, or legit na loan product, hindi po siya masyadong makulit. So pa-text-text lang siya na meron yung billing statement mo, available na daw. Ito yung due mo, kailangan mo itong bayaran. So pa-text-text lang siya guys. Hindi siya tulad ng ibang app na makulit, yung tawag ng tawag, yung ganon. But last time, matutanggap ako guys ng text. Parang seryoso to si Maya Credit na kapag hindi ka nakapagbayad on time, medyo sasakit yung ulo mo ha. Pasensya po sa mga nagtatanong at hindi ko nasagot kasi at that time, I really didn't have the idea but now, I have the perfect answer for you. So, so yung text ni Maya Credit, Hi, my name. This is a friendly, well, friendly, <laughs> friendly reminder to settle your Maya credit dues by 2023-73. So, hindi ko pa due when I got this text. I got this text a week before my due date. If payment will not be made on time, your account will be endorsed to one of our collection agency partners. Collection agency ka agad! You may check our list of partners and their contact information at mayabank.ph slash loans to avoid of any inconvenience. Inconvenience, pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. You may pay the full loan balance via bills pay in your Maya app and any Maya center outlet nationwide. If you've already paid, please disregard this message. Um, meron akong gustong i-share sa inyo na pros and cons ni dito ni Maya app. Yung pros ni Maya, idali po siyang i-convert sa cash. Code and code. You can get up to 15,000 pesos or 18,000 pesos na credit limit dun sa Maya app. Hindi mo na kailangan dumaan sa kung ano-anong app para lang makuha mo siya as cash. Kasi si Maya Credit, diretso na within the app na ko-convert siya. Unlike other online loan apps, less than 10% yung kanyang monthly interest. Pero just like G-Credit kasi revolving siya, so meron kang billing statement. And for having a billing statement, meron ka pong due date na kung saan ikaw yung nag-set nung inactivate mo si Maya Credit. Anong mangyayari kapag hindi ka makakabalik? Ay, ti Maya Credit yun. Sabi sa akin, one week before, nire-remind ako na kung hindi ako makabayad, i-endorse ka na sa collection agency partners nila. So, itong mga collection agency partners, sila na yung bahalang mag-collect sa'yo. And that's not a good thing. Seryoso talaga si Maya na dapat pangalagaan mo talaga yung account mo kay Maya. So, yung mga collection agency partners nila, so, collect Shoes, MBA Consulting Philippines, AMG Collection Services, RGS Recovery Management, and Collection Services Team. So, grabe. Or hindi sinabi ni Maya kung meron siyang um, grace period or whatnot. Sabi lang niya, if your payment is not made on time, and by on time, it means on or before your due date your account will be endorsed to our collection agency partners. Usually ha, nanonotice ko ha, kapag maganda yung loan app, kapag legit yung loan app, hindi sila makulit eh. Um, especially yung mga loan apps na compliant talaga sa rules and regulations ng, ni SEC to operate as a loan app. Hindi sila makulit, hindi sila tawag ng tawag, hindi sila tatawag sa mga... Hindi, hindi sila makulit. So, pa-text-text lang sila or pa-email-email lang sila ng reminders na mag ju ka na. And doon mismo sa app, Alam mo kung kailan yung due date mo kasi andun lahat. And they are banking on the fact na nag-agree ka kasi sa terms and conditions nila. So they expect na alam mo na yung consequence kapag hindi ka nakabayan. They expect you to understand your responsibility as a borrower. So grabe si Maya, kaagad, collection agency na kaagad. Kung babayaran mo naman yung loan mo sa kay Maya, then you can continuously use do use your Maya credit na account. Para sa akin ha, kailangan siya talagang pangalagaan because first of all, Maya Credit is legit. Basically legit. Kapag legit yung app, maganda yung record natin talaga. Pangalagaan natin to. 
si Maya also offers other loan products. Although they're in their early stages pa, ay medyo minsan may mga issues, but they offer yung loans, uh, yung pay in for, which if you know how to use it, you can use it to your advantage. Yung also, as a bank guys, si Maya Credit nagre-report din sa CIC. At kung nagre-report si CIC, tsaka mag- si Maya Credit sa CIC at maganda yung record natin dito, then napapa angat yung credit score natin which eventually kapag maganda yung credit score natin nagiging eligible tayo sa mas magandang mga loan products when finally kailangan na natin like eventually gusto mo home loan credit card car loan yung mga ganon seryoso siya as in pangalagaan natin yung account natin kay Maya this will not be the only topic about Maya kasi marami pa akong na-observe guys and I wanna share that with you subscribe kayo sa channel na to if you like topics like this in a future video now I want to share another thing about Maya na it's not wise to pay your Maya dues like super super advanced. So subscribe kayo sa channel na to and abangan yung for uh, subscribe kayo sa channel na to and abangan yung yung mga future videos ko about Maya.